To me, I, I, I meet God in the mountains. I feel like I can hear his voice better in that setting. How do you not talk about the beauty of this country? Every day, it was almost a different type of terrain. Sometimes mountain peaks, sometimes rainforests, sometimes you know rivers and waterfalls. If I can sum up one word to describe my experience, and I'll never use this word lightly ever again, it's the word breathtaking. Physically, spiritually, and mostly mentally, I felt like my breath was taken away throughout this trek. Seeing the beauty of the South American people and all of these South American children, so many of them, because we were in remote areas living in abject poverty and thinking that this is why we do what we do. These little kids, you know, maybe they're going to be part of a Stadia church plant and they're going to hear the good news of Jesus Christ for the very first time and have not only their life here right now changed, but all of their eternity changed. Part of what we're doing is about, you know, establishing churches so that every child has a church and uh, they're a reminder of, of Jesus' love for children and how important this mission is that we give them that opportunity the best we can. In a lot of cultures around the world, uh, children are almost always the most impacted, whether it's through trafficking or child soldiers or poverty or, or, or sickness. They're usually the, the hardest hit. And so making sure that we're on a mission that Jesus sends us on and making sure that we're not just starting churches, but starting churches that intentionally care for kids. I mean, that's why we got up at, you know, at five in the morning or 4.30 in the morning every day and trekked up, up straight uphill for miles and miles at altitudes at 12,000 plus feet. The adventure's fun. The children behind it, the churches that are gonna be planted, that's what it's really all about. The fact that we are able to do something that's going to be able to plant churches and give kids a place to find the love of Jesus is so important. Quite literally, hundreds of churches will be started uh, in the United States and around the world as a result of these efforts. I just kept remembering, like, this is really hard, but back in the day when we were church planting, that was a lot harder. <laughs> and so I so want to do this to raise money so that church planters who are going on that hard journey can have the support that they need. That only happens because of our generous partners um, who so um, willingly say, okay, if you're willing to step out in faith and go climb mountains, we're willing to pray and to invest in your efforts behind you to make sure that every child on the planet has a church. Thank you so much to everyone that supported us personally helping Stadia to plant these churches. Thank you for caring. Thank you for sacrificing. Thank you for extending yourself on behalf of people you've never met and you may never meet until you get to heaven.